Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be ranking the queens from Drag Race Holland after episode 7. So if that sounds good to you, before you get started, make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you how you would rank the queens. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to get it to 100 subscribers by Halloween. We are one away. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's get this video started. Loop! Um, so, obviously, since there are only four queens remaining, this video won't be super long. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and get it started. At number four, I have Abby. Oh my god! Picture here. Um, I like Abby in this episode, and I feel like um, Abby's definitely tried to step it up a little bit more um, since being in the bottom so many times. However, um, she still, I don't think, stepped it up enough to warrant being safe. Um... And, uh, that's why I have Abby at number four. Um, again, it just continues to be track record for me. Like, if you, you, she's at the point where she either needs to step it up a lot or, um, just go home. And I don't understand why there was a double Shantae this episode. Yes, it was a spoiler. Sorry about that. But I disagree with that. I think Abby should have gone, excuse me. I think Abby should have gone home. Fred literally said a few episodes ago that if you are in the bottom again, I will be sending you, sending you home. And Fred didn't send her home. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? In what world? Anyways. Um, so that's where I have Abby at number four. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, at number three, I have Mama Queen. Picture here. Um, Mama Queen, I think, um, is better than Abby only in the fact that Mama Queen is Sometimes hits it out of the park, and other times she just misses. And I feel like this episode was a bit of a miss at in some aspects. Um, I don't think it was as bad as Abby was, especially in the runway. Um, I think Abby had the weakest runway this week. That being said, none of them were super weak, but um, anyways. Uh, that's why I have Mama Queen at number three. Again, uh, she has a win. However, even that win I wouldn't have given her, if I'm being honest with you guys. Um, so, I mean... Yeah, Mama Queen's number three for me. Um, I could have seen her going home this episode as well. However, um, again, we ended up with a double Shantae, whatever. I'm I'm annoyed by it. I feel like this episode was kind of pointless at that point. Like, why would you not send someone home at this point? When you're one week away from the finale, why keep all four? I don't get it at this point, at least. I don't agree with it. Anyways, so that's why I have Mama Queen at number three. At number four. Two, I have Janie and Jack A. Picture here. Um, I think Janie did amazing in this episode. And um, I would put her at one if it were just for this episode. However, considering the fact that I consider track record when making my ranking. Um, that's why I have Janie at number two. Um, I don't think she should have been in the bottom last week. And I also don't think she should have ever been in the bottom. I think she was always either safe or top for me at least. Which is why I have Janie at number two. And this week was definitely a deserved win. I was definitely happy to see her winning this. And yeah, that's about it for Janie. At number one, obviously, I have Envy Peru. Picture here. Um, Envy kills it every week. This week might have been a bit of a letdown compared to her previous weeks. But that's also because Envy does so well. So, like, for her to... Um, I mean, she still did super well this week. It's just other queens also did very well this week. Which is why I think... Um, she didn't win this week, obviously. Um, but still, she has four wins. At this point, it's still her competition to lose. If she had gone in the bottom, maybe she would have moved down in my ranking, but she was still safe. Um, so that's why, for me, she's still number one. Um, and if she doesn't win next week, I will be shocked. Um, that's about it for the ranking. Um, definitely make sure to comment down below how you would rank the queens. Um... Overall, the season feels a bit messy at some times, especially the last episode. I didn't really understand some of the things that happened. Um, that might just be me. Again, let me know down below what you thought of this episode. Uh, definitely check out my video from yesterday where I reviewed the episode if you haven't seen that already. Um, also subscribe for more Drag Race content. Um, today is the Halloween special, Bring Back My Ghouls, and I will be reviewing that as well. Um, so I will get that out to you guys hopefully by like, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll see. Um, but 
definitely make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment down below what you thought of this episode. And I'll see y'all back later today. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, guys.